Hello, hello, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back to another uh, video, vignette uh, that we have today. We thank God for allowing us to be back. I just want to pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time to get His word, Jesus. I pray, Father God, that no distraction comes, God. I pray against all distractions in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Spirit, use me like never before. Let me to speak, God. Help me to hear your voice, hear your word, O Lord. Jesus, speak through me. Father God, right now, I pray that this word circumnavigate the globe in Jesus' name and repeat. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yeah, I just want to come back, man, thanking God on this day that the Lord has made because this day God has made for you, especially for you today. Wherever you may be at whatever part of the globe, it don't matter. It's all about where you are with God and your walk with God, not what people think. Today's title of today's video is, Can You Hear God's Voice? Can You Hear God's Voice? got to ask yourself that question. There's a lot of voices that people hear nowadays in this world. They hear a lot of voices. They hear a lot of people. They listen to a lot of people. They listen to a lot of distraction, a lot of things that don't make sense. You know, can you hear God's voice? First Thessalonians 4, 3, it says, for this is the will of God, that you be sanctified, that you abstain and back away from sin, from sexual and moral sin, meaning we must be separated, guys, brothers and sisters, set apart from sin, set apart from secret sins, even. For some people, the real reason that they can't hear God's voice, brothers and sisters, is because they are running from sin, but they're yet running to the sins of this world. Everywhere you look around you, we see sin on TV. We see sin in our community. We see sin. Call a spade a spade, man. It says their hearts are hardened by the sin, and it makes them hard to hear God's voice. Your heart is hardened by your own sin, you see, which makes you listen to the enemy, the enemy of your soul, the enemy, you see, the enemy within, the enemy makes it hard for you to hear the God's voice. You see, most of us want to blame it. Some people you hear say, say, blame it on the devil. The devil made me do it. No, you made you do it. Your own voices, your own selfishness made you do it. All those voices drown our God voice. See, that's the reason why you can't understand and hear God's voice. Because you let the enemy of your soul trap you. Revelation 2, 29 says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the churches. So let the spirit speak through you. Let the spirit be louder than the voice of the devil. Let the spirit speak to your soul and your heart. You see, let us hear what the spirit has to say to us today in the church. Because if you do, you will reap a harvest. You will be like that seed that's in the uh, Mark 4, 20. The seed that landed on good soil. And it said, those who are the ones who were on the seed who were sown on good soil and the heart, they heard the word and accepted it and bared fruit. See that? We bear fruit 30, 60, and some 100. 100 times as much. So brothers and sisters, today, let our passions equal our, pra our, our, our actions equals our passions. Let our faith and deeds add up. Let our faith in these add up because guess what? We can talk a good talk, but we must walk a good walk. It's easy to say something and not do it. Let your yes be no and your no, and your no be uh, no. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Sorry about that. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. If you know the good that you ought to do and don't do it, you sin. You see? So we have to hold ourselves accountable, but can we do that? and run away from our own sins of ourselves, and can we hear God's voice? Well, if you can't hear God's voice, you have to pray in God. You have to pray to God. To, his voice may be louder than the enemy's voice. You can pray right now in your heart, of all hearts. Lord, let, my vo let, let your voice reign true to my heart. Let your voice be louder than the enemy's voice. Let your voice be louder than my parents' voice or my loved one's voice. See, we have to stop listening to people and stop listening to the news. Come out of that news, man. Come out of that, that witchcraft and that debauchery. Come out of those whorehouses. Come out of the streets. 
Come out of the corners. Come out of game banging. Come out of selling dope. Stop listening to the to the to the sounds of the enemy and the big homie. No, oh, that ain't your big homie. Let God be your big homie, young brother. Young sister, come out of that prostitution. Yeah, stop prostituting yourself because you are a queen. You're not a B. You're not an H. You're not a B or H. You are a queen. You are a sister in Christ. Yeah, it's time to come out of that debauchery. It's time to start, brothers and sisters, listening to God's voice and not the enemy of, the, of our soul. I thank you, Jesus, for this time. I pray that this word circumnavigate the globe and then repeat. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that it sanctify the line. Thank you, I, thank you, Father God, and I pray, God, that it heals just one person, that it shows just one person, Father God, the way. Thank you for being the way, the truth, and the light. In Jesus' name.